that's one of the best decisions I ever made. The year is 1945. Shirley Wesley, now 96, was a young college student in Duluth when she suddenly got the call to serve her country. I was getting very tired of the weather in Duluth, so I decided to join the Navy. <laughs> she spent the last two years of World War II as a flight attendant, shuttling service members from one base to another. I kind of enjoyed it, by the way. For her, it was an opportunity to see the country. And in 2012, she got another opportunity to see the monuments made in her honor. It was a very meaningful trip. Every year, Honor Flight takes World War II veterans like Shirley on a free trip to Washington, D.C. to thank them for their service. This would have been our 23rd flight. Jerry and Jana Kaiser have been running the local chapter for the last 12 years, never missing a flight. But with a worldwide pandemic and a group of vulnerable veterans, they had to make a difficult decision. And we postponed it until... October 3rd. And even that, they admit, is a lofty goal. It may be a year or more before they can fly again. Shirley is sad that some veterans may never get to take the same trip she did. But she's hopeful that, like World War II, this too shall pass. What would you uh, say to young people like me who have never been through something like this? A positive attitude always outweighs a negative one because you can build on a, on a positive attitude. There's no building on a negative, and that applies to everything, really. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News.